150 million pounds repairs, Janet? You're going to save Buckingham mm. Palace. Does the Queen stay? She's got... <laughs> Would you ship her out while we're Actually, doing it? Actually, she's got 775 rooms and 78 bathrooms. Yeah. That is yeah. an ever, ever such a lot. Of guests. <laughs> yeah, I know Not she's got a lot of guests. Women. But what I think is, move. She's got loads of other palaces. Let's be honest. She's got Windsor. She's got Balmoral, and she's got Sandringham. So why doesn't she move out and then we do all the refurbishment? But in return, we get to use. It because I don't think she really likes it. Would you go stay? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> got kind of grand ambitions, yeah. but not to live in a palace. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it could be used for the country. We could hold conferences there. We could move Parliament there for, yeah. for a kick-off. Oh, kick no, off. we don't want them in there. <laughs> well, they've got their own repair bill. Parliament's got such a massive repair bill. Yeah. It's going to cost so many, 32 billion or something, and take 30 years. Oh, you have to do the Houses of Parliament. You can't let that go either, shouldn't can we be getting right, rid of the, um, Shouldn't we be getting rid of the maintenance men that are meant to be looking after this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pull rank, but I did go to a lunch there a few years ago for Women of Achievement. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I just pulled rank. I was busy that day. Yeah, yeah. all right. So on my, on my lunch at Buckingham Palace, I did notice that they, it is a bit threadbare. The, car, the carpet's could do with a good, you know, perking up. And um, they've got three bar fires. But the actual, they've got these grand but the actual building itself is saying it's crumbling. Apparently, Princess mm -hmm. Anne got hit on the head by oh, a gosh. falling piece. Of Mason, but really. let's be honest, yeah, but... it wasn't built as a palace. It was mm. built as a nobleman's house, and then King George III took it over, I think, in 1760 or something. So it was never actually built as a palace in the first place, and I think it belongs to the whole country. I think the idea that it's someone's private residence when they've got other palaces is bizarre. Why don't we turn it into somewhere that everybody can visit it's only open, isn't it, to the public? Yeah, it's only open for a few place. weeks of the year. My, my main concern I just is that... 150 million, what are they doing? I would hate to think they're going to make it, you know, modernise it and have, like, you know... Lawrence Hill and Bowen like, in Yeah, exactly, and, and kind of make, you know, make it no, look all... I think it's that. restoration, isn't it? That's, that's, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. as, as long as it's restoration, I'm happy to um, contribute. I mean, the electrics... It's not very brightly coloured if Windsor Castle's anything... They're saying the electrics haven't been looked at since the 1940s or something. <gasps> you know, it's dangerous but as you well. Know what? With that many rooms in the house, she probably... There are rooms in the house she probably hasn't been in since the 1940s. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know... I think she I could think open I... up a wing to show her walk. Yeah, I think, I think the Queen, you know, move out when they're doing it, but I think she could still there. It's such an enormous place. Mm. She could still have a wing and the rest a of it could be flat. opened up to she the public. A <laughs> <flat>. <laughs> exactly. 